the Tea Party movement back in 2009, at the height of the economic crisis, staging massive protests nationwide against government spending and taxation. Now, instead of focusing on the presidential contest, the groups seem to be collectively going down ballot, focusing more on local and state elections. Here to discuss the 2012 blueprint, Tea Party Patriots co-founder Mark Meckler. He is also co-author of a new book, Tea Party Patriots, The Second American Revolution. Mark, thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. So the revolution is not over. A lot of people think the Tea Party has kind of gone away. Literally, the first shot has barely been fired. And in fact, if you, if you do what I do, if you travel around the country, you meet with these Tea Partiers all across the country from southern Florida up to northern Washington state, what you find is groups that are committed, active, and they're actually actively engaged in the electoral process. They're already walking precincts. They're vetting candidates. Candidates are rising up from within these organizations. You're going to see electoral change like we've never seen before in the history of this country. Are you making predictions? Well, I will. I, I think you're going to see a bigger sweep in the House of Representatives, a bigger change of hands of seats than you saw in 2010. I think we're going to see a continuation of the trend that we saw in state legislatures. In 2010, it was the largest change of legislature seats from party to party in the history since we've been tracking it. I think you're going to see that sweep continue to grow. And I think that creates generational change. Literally, those people are going to trickle their way up through the system over the next 25 years, and that's going to put the country on the right path. A lot of people assume that Tea Partiers are only gunning for Democratic seats in the House and the Senate. Is that true? It's absolutely not true. In fact, there's something going on that a lot of Tea Partiers support called the Campaign for Primary Accountability. That's a separate organization, but there are Tea Partiers who support it, like myself. And they're going after 50 Democrats, 50 Republicans in the primaries. And the goal is to turn out people who don't represent their constituents, to get them out of office and to put in people who do represent people on the ground in those communities. You have been watching very closely, I'm sure, the payroll tax cut battle. Uh, the House made a stand just before Christmas, said we're not going to sign, we're not going to go for this unless Democrats and the president agree to $100 billion worth of cost savings elsewhere. Now here we are two months later, the House has approved it without any kind of, you know, offsets. What do you think about that? Well, trying not to overstate it, I would call it appalling, offensive, not necessarily disappointing because if you look at the way the Republican leadership has behaved since they took the majority, it's very consistent with their behavior. You know, I said it before the 2010 election that Americans were looking for a different kind of leadership, that the leadership that was likely to take over, especially in the House, is the same old leadership. They're showing the same old behavior. They helped get us into this problem in the first place, and they're clearly not taking steps to get us out of the trouble we're in. But you saw the drubbing they took in the polls. Uh, you know, Congress, uh, its, its approval ratings went into the tank uh, in, that in that fight before Christmas. Maybe this is the live to fight another day strategy that will, you know, help them get some other things done. You know, John, I hear that from people in Congress all the time. I sit down face to face with these folks, these men and women, and I hear often, look, Mark, we had to do that vote. We had to go that way so that we can come back and do better next year. And I really, I and most of the people in this country have trouble understanding that reasoning. In other words, we elected you to Congress so you can make the wrong votes, do the wrong things, and put the country deeper in debt so that we could re-elect you again so that you can then fix the problems. I don't buy it. You go to Congress, you go there to do the right thing. If that causes you to lose your seat, so be it. That's the way the system works. President Obama's approval ratings seem to be on the rise. Are, are the Tea Party, is the Tea Party going after the president in any way, or are you focusing strictly on Congress and the Senate? the House and the Senate. You know, the, the Tea Party, at least the Tea Party Patriots as an organization, we don't go after any particular candidate. We go after principles. And, and so we compare candidates to their principles. We compare the already elected officials to their principles and the Tea Party principles. And we're just going to show what people are really doing compared to what they say they're going to do and compared to what the country needs. We have faith in the American people. The ruling elite in Washington, they don't have the same faith we do. I believe Americans will make the right choices come November. All right, if people want to read the blueprint, is the book out yet? It is out. It came out on February 14th. They can get it at Amazon and Barnes and Noble or their local booksellers. We appreciate any place they go to get the book. It's called Tea Party Patriots, the Second American Revolution. And they can also uh, read about these concepts and the idea that it's not a partisan thing. And they can read that at markmeckler.com. All right, I'm sure they'll be uh, checking you out. Mark Meckler, thank you. Thanks, John. Good.